When I say I am overwhelmed, that is the understatement of the century. I don't know where to start out here. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do next. Like I have no idea what the sequence of work should be. So I was like, at first I'll just start with like trying to get one building going. Like we cleaned it up and made it a little nicer and got electricity and like a little bit of air conditioning in there. And then I was like, well, let's go ahead and figure out where our range is going to be and just clear that so we can start figuring out you know, where we're going to put berms. And then I was like, let's go back and actually get that building, you know, with running water and a better air conditioning system and like make it livable, which is great. And then we're like, well, we need to clean out this burned down building so we can start to sort of start visualizing, get some architects, some, you know, designers to come in and kind of see what is, you know, what's still good, what we can keep so that, you know, we can make way for planning. And then next I was like, well, actually, I want to come enjoy the river. So yesterday I came down here. Um, with a lawnmower and weed eater. This was all overgrown. All this stuff was this tall and we cleared it all out. And then my family came down here, we, we hauled this picnic table down and sat out here and just, we sat in the river. It was awesome. So pretty down here. And now it's like, okay, well I gotta get back to work because I don't know if you know, but there's literally a trillion things to do. But where to next? So we had uh, some YouTubers come in, uh, Junkyard Digs, great guy, just met him, I talked to him forever, but just met him, super nice, and I gave him the old van. There's a van they used to use to like take people up the river and put tubes in and let them float down and stuff. And I said, you can get it running, you can have it, because he wanted the drivetrain out of it to give to a disabled veteran um, to help get his car running. And so it was a good cause, and it got kind of a junky van out of the way. And I thought, we should do that again. There's a couple other vehicles out here on the property that are not running. There's actually several. Uh, they're not running, but one of them is, it looks like it would run easily. I'm just gonna try to get it running and make a ranch truck out of it, because that's one of those things that if I can get an extra ranch truck out, that means everything we do out here is a little bit easier. Things like that that I can do that will help not only make the property look better by not having a busted old truck, but also it's gonna make it more functional so that we can make this thing into a functional resort faster. It'll help facilitate that. So one small step for Matt by getting a broken truck running will be one giant leap for resort kind. This is my 1999 to 2003, I don't know, I haven't looked it up yet, uh, F-250 with a V-10. But first, this is my goat patrol. Uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. Um, the guys actually pulled this out of a shed. We have tons of golf carts here. There's like 14 golf carts. They picked the best one, got it all cleaned up. It was disgusting, but it's got a flat tire. But we look around in this barn, which you guys haven't seen the barn yet, but I found some old fix flat, so I'm gonna... I don't know how much to put in there. Does it say? Make sure your tire's fully deflated. Oh, it's not fully deflated. It's pretty deflated. Oh, we gotta shake it. Whoops. It's fine. Um, shake hand vigorously for 30 seconds. Yeah, that was it. Hold can upright. Oh, I should have read the instructions. How much? Dispense until entire can is empty, entire rim is lifted. Yeah, we would put the whole, the whole thing in our... Yeah, but this tires. is such a tiny tire. I'd... It's working. Just filling her up. Okay, yeah, th this was full. We filled it up with air, and then uh, it was deflated the next day. So I'll just fill it up. I mean, what, what's the harm, right? And then we actually found an air compressor out here, and it <coughs> sounds like it's about to explode, but it works.
Where y'all going now? Okay, we got Go Patrol on duty. All right, back to the truck. This thing has a Triton V10 in it, so it's a gasoline truck, which I was bummed about because I saw this thing from a distance and I was like, oh, this thing's got to have a 7.3 in it. Nope, Triton V10, which is good. Uh, it's just not a diesel. Um, looks like, yep, four wheel drive, uh, four door. It's kind of gross because it was like right under this eave, so it got rained on a lot, I guess. Um, but yeah, this is the barn. It's a little horse barn. It's got a little central, I mean, this is, it's solid. It's got some big old pipe making this thing up. A uh, little tack room over there, like a, a weird little office over there and a bunch of junk. So this is something I'm not planning on doing much with yet. Um, it's actually in okay condition. Uh, it just needs to be cleaned up, but we don't have any horses, so we don't need to clean it up. But this would be very nice to have a on-property four-wheel drive work truck. So my plan is drain the gas, get a new battery, see if that's all it needs. That would be really, really nice. And actually, uh, it, the last time it ran was pretty, pretty recently. So I, there were still some people like kind of coming out here. So 18, it was uh, registered and street legal. So only five years ago. So I think it'll be fairly easy to get it going. 2018 was five years, oh my God. All right, I just looked up the VIN. This is a 2000 Ford Super Duty F250 Crew Cab XL four wheel drive Triton V10 MSRP 26,900 and I got it for the mere price of a resort ranch. Cool. Um, 310 horsepower, 425 foot pounds of torque. Okay, I actually. Wasp nest. I actually didn't know uh, they had that much torque. That's good. 425. This would be a solid work truck. Yeah, four wheel drive. Okay, so let's see if it has oil. Just kidding, let's not. There's goat hair wrapped around it. Like, we're just gonna be finding goat sheep. How is there stuff goat for... hair in the engine bay of a. I don't know. You tell me. But that's freaking. That's that's goat hair. Yeah, it's still floating. <laughs> All right, dang it, dang it! <laughs> Get back in there. Get in your hole. Okay, we need a new one of these. Oh, can we put that in the ocean? Yeah. Well, there's a pond. Actually, we have a river. <laughs> Just dump it in the river. Put yeah. it in the river. It's perfect. It'll float down to the neighbor's property. I laid on the ground. I went to see if what kind of fuel filter it has. Uh, I'm just gonna try to pump gas out of here. Need to go in further than that. That's the good stuff. All right, it's not red. Man, the El Camino's gas, straight red when it came out and it smelled so bad. This, this actually could work. Look at it go, yeah. It doesn't smell bad, bad, but it doesn't smell good, good. We took out about 10 gallons so far, but it looks like it's, looks like we're at the bottom of the tank, which is good, and it's all clean, which is awesome, because that means I don't have to drop the tank and clean out the tank. I think the tank's clean just with some old fuel in it, so I think we'll just replace it and see if that works. Now, got some fresh fuel, and you can see it's in a race tank, which means race truck. Got all the gas in there, uh, waiting on Mikey. He went to grab a new battery. But let's do a little exploring here. Uh, that go-kart looks pretty sweet, but they specifically said someone's coming to pick that up. Uh, that did not convey with the property. This is how you know it's good. No one's been in here in a while. Ugh. Like me wasp in here. Oh yeah, look at all these wasps in this. Get out of here, it's my place now. Ugh. Little tack room. Oh, we can see the horses' names. Hope there's not an animal in here. Yeah. Uh, there is now. Sancho, Hidalgo, Pumpkin, Archie. This is cool. No saddles left. I was hoping there might be some value in here, but there is zero. Jeez. Cool. Okay. Uh, one day. We will have horses back on this ranch. I've always wanted to have horses, but I never actually want them because horses are a lot of work. But I'm like, if we got a resort, we hire some ranch hands, we can have some horses. 
that I can have fun with, with not all the work. Oh, there's another room over here. Good fish tank? Yeah. What the heck is... No, oh, it's a spider. It's a flying daddy long leg. It's stuck on something. Yeah, it's just, it's flying on a spider web, but it, it looked like the daddy long leg was just flying toward me. Okay. Uh, that's another one. Some more horse names. Bob, Tim. Tim has two saddles. Lucky. Uh, and a little weird desk. Ugh, it's all wet and gross in here. Okay. Thought we might find some treasure. Door broke. I guess it was a feed room. There's some buckets in there and junk. It's nice, pretty, pretty nice. And that concludes our tour of my pole barn. <laughs> Looks like they had like 20 horses out here at, at the end, at least. They had draft horses. Brett, Bob, Cream, Cream Puff, and Wrangler horses. And this is when they were last shod and dewormed. Cheyenne, Onion, Hopalong, Junior, Henry, Tank, Pumpkin, uh, Sancho, Ro, 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 Ronan? Zim R O A N A N. Yeah. yeah. Ronan, Zimbabwe or something? Cinnamon. <laughs> oh, it, do yeah, it does say cinnamon. Kiachi, J5, Lil Red, Hidalgo, Zorro, Bud, Stranger, Peanut. Okay. Um, what's your favorite name on this one? Um, I'm going to go with Hidalgo. That is a good one. Um, I think we should get another horse and we each pick a name from this and we rename the new horses that way. Like, That's cool. Like you get Hidalgo, I'll get Kiachi. I want to name mine Mikey. We need like a, a fast little horse. Because I already ride on Mikey's back sometimes. A fast little horse. It'll be, it'll be Mikey. <laughs> a little brutal. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new battery. Ooh, don't scratch that paint. Also, um, we recently had some guys come just to check out the ranch. Uh, we have a gate at the front of the property, but sometimes it gets left open if there's like a delivery coming or something like that. Um, please don't come in here. Please respect our privacy. We are not open to the public at all. And I know that people are coming in just to look around. Um, they weren't trying to cause any harm, but we don't know that. And so, uh, just so you know, it is not open to the public yet. We are going to try to have some events out here, get people going. Eventually it will be open you can come whenever you want. But for now, stay away or else we'll ask you to leave. Or Mike Eel. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have so much pollen all over you. <sighs> Look at that. We got a dome light. Sweet. Everything looks fine. The motor turns. We did not flush any of the lines, so I'm just kind of hoping that we don't have to. We haven't checked for spark or if we're getting fuel to the engine. All right, we got some starter fluid. Let's just spray a little of that and see if it'll run. Then we know if it's just a fuel issue. Red wasps like landed in my ear. They're in these pipes. I don't have any wasp spray, but I got some just mosquito spray. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. Run. That's gonna work. Get David. Kill David. Kill David. No, don't. You specifically said that's just gonna piss him off. Yeah, I did. But they pissed me off. Oh, okay. they're coming for Mikey. I do not want to be this close to that. There's four just chilling. I see them. Oh, you almost hit the roof. That would have been bad. <laughs> spray it, but then just be chill. You gotta be chill. There's no chill. Evicted. Get. Get out. He's coming back for sure. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be wasp spray in one of these buildings. Oh, that was, just, <laughs> that was a fly. <laughs> I like to call this room the secret garden. You'll see why. Let's try to find some wasp spray. Nature has retaken this building. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's nice. Like, you like that kind of stuff. This is a drill press. You can see how nature is slowly 
taking it back. It's just eating it. It's going to fall into the sinkhole. I found some wasp spray, but it's super rusty old bottle and there's a little bit of air coming out, but no spray. You can paint them. Yeah, there's paint, there's spray adhesive. There's some bottle that says do not drink. Watch your step. This is about to engulf the entire building. Please open up. Check it out, it's <laughs> eating this whole shelf over here. Just going into the oh. earth. Yeah. But no wasp spray. And I'm just afraid I'm going to go through the floor. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping will happen because that would be hilarious. It would be really good for the thumbnail. What are you going to do if I have to take, you just know, like your torso and... sticking out of the floor? Oh my god. That would be awesome. <laughs> right through the floor. Dude, what if like animals just went... I'm waiting for that to happen. Your raccoons just pour out of it. Well, going through the tack room, I was like, something's going to just spew out of this room. Creepy handprints. Oh! oh. oh. Sidewinder! I'm in danger. There are no rules! If you can't beat them, run away from them. He said do it aggressively. Actually don't, because I don't know if the brakes work. Actually don't, because he doesn't know if the brakes work. Are you ready? No. Go. Oh, no. Okay, he's ready. We just decided to go ahead and tow it all the way over to the main house. Because we wanted to be in the shade. Oh, man, he's going fast. <laughs> oh, and I can't turn. <sighs> Got it. Because we want to be in the shade. Might as well bring it over closer to power, too. More, 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 more. Perfect. That's good. Say a lot, a lot. Maybe, maybe we can do something cool. Yeah, we just need fuel. All right, do it again. We have spark, that's fine. We need fuel. So I gotta figure out why there's no fuel making up here. And maybe it's just that there's old fuel, but I also don't hear a fuel pump turning on when I turn the key. So I'm thinking we might have a bad fuel pump. I checked the fuses, so I think we're gonna drop the tank right now. Okay, we gotta get the heat shield off, then the straps to drop the tank. Look at these U joints, they're looking great. Bolts are great too, I got one out, gotta get the other. They are freaking rusty. We got the back of the skid plate off. Now we just gotta take the front off and it's good play, it'll be done. Fall on your knee. Oh, uh, it's hanging in the back or what? Yeah, it's hanging in the back. We dropped the tank. As you can see, we cannot get those two fuel lines off right there because apparently you need a special tool to take them off. I texted uh, Willie and Steven, my truck buds, and I was like, um, how do you do this? And they're like, yeah, they sent us a picture of a tool that you have to have, so I don't have that. Um, so we can't get it all out, and we also did find another broken line in the fuel tank. Um, I don't know if we broke it getting it off or if it was part of the problem, but uh, I think we need some professionals to look at this thing. Not, not me. I'm an idiot. I'm a professional idiot, though. The kid's been driving Go Patrol around all day, and they drained the battery. We're going to go see if we can find a battery charger that will work for this thing, because everything's... 
20 years old or older here. I got her floored, we got a little bit of juice. Yeah, give her a kick. We're gonna see, I think there's some battery charges over here. Who knows if they're gonna work or not, but we're gonna try them all. That one, I don't know if that would work. This one, what's your plug look like? Oh, you look a million years old. Nope, that's not right. Where's the charger? What does that say? Conference center. Look at those big old signs. There's more golf carts in here. But where would they have been charging? Oh, there's a here's one. Uh looks like the old one though. How do I even get over here? No, nope, that's got the wrong plug too. There's a bunch of old golf carts here that have these kind of plugs. There's so many batteries in this place. There's another battery charger for the old style ones. There are Three new style golf carts like that one. There has to be three chargers here. There's more batteries over here. Yeah, that thing's cool. I mean, we renamed it to Desperado, but that is cool. Someone make us something like that that say, the Desperado. I think they don't exist. Also, Mikey said that's a three wheel golf cart, which is pretty sweet. We need to get these things running too. We just gotta find chargers. Okay, we found one. God, this is so old. Ain't no way. Got the right plugs though. That did nothing. We plugged it in, no change. Your golf cart, you got me fixed up. Spent all that money on new batteries. It lasted like four days. Now it's out of batteries, so we're just gonna probably throw it in the river, the whole, whole golf cart. The cavalry has arrived. Hey, welcome to the resort. Dude, this is amazing. Ah, so good, right? You guys need a place to stay? It's been 20 years since I've been out here. Actually, when I was in high school, I worked for uh, Mark Katzer's Lawn and Tree Service. He's actually still in business. Um, does he, he want to wanna come out here and do lawn and tree service? <laughs> yeah, I mean, he probably would. It was a big job. It hey, I got, a, I got a mower. So you're the man for the job, I guess, right? So you yeah. were really out here when you were 17 years old? Yeah, yeah I was a, a junior, I think, a sophomore or junior. I used to come out here and ride a zero turn and weed eat all this. Do you know how much really? freaking weed eating this is? Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff there to weed eat lot. around. Well, does it look similar? That, yeah, it actually looks better. I think it's <laughs> aged well. Kind of sad to see it. Yeah. It's really cool, though, that you ended up with it, man. Well, this is hope... such a dope piece of property. Yeah. Well, that's the only good thing about it. This property's awesome. Everything else is terrible. Yeah. Trucks, V10s, terrible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we came out here to fix a truck. Yep. Well, we're taking the grand tour. So those are the special tools we needed, huh? Yes, sir. Easy as that. We tried everything. Everything except the right tool. And there's our fuel pump down in there. We're just gonna get a new one. And we also need a new one of those hoses because yeah. that broke. So it should come, it'll probably. Come with all that? Yeah, it probably will. If not, if nothing else, we can, we can fix this. But I bet it comes with all of it. Sweet. But yeah, once it's got fuel pressure. Easy enough. Yep, should run. Okay, well, if you guys don't mind, just go ahead and we'll see you later. We're gonna go to the spa over here. Yeah, hi. They agreed to take it home. Uh, problem is my winch is really struggling here, but we have a first gen Cummins. We're gonna give her a little bump. Nah, we'll use this nice little push bar on the bumper. It's gonna be perfect. Please God, don't hurt the grill. Yeah, four low. Oh, you're good. <laughs> That uh, tailgate's gonna be a little smashed. Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh, this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> These guys are cringing because apparently the first gen grills are real hard to come by and that one's in like perfect it's condition. It's perfect, it doesn't even have a crack like where the, the hood latches, they yeah. always have a crack. It's an original lettered grill. So you're gonna get an eBay grill and that one needs to go on the wall. They were like, you should just back into it. I was like, why would we push it up backwards? And they were like, <laughs> just push on it with the grill They're a little like, bit. That yeah. grill's 1500 bucks. <laughs> we're gonna try it one more time. You know, just a, a working battery really would have helped. Good. Yeah. Can fly. Great, now that's good, it'll pull itself up. Perfect. There go Holden Bros with our Triton V10. We got V10 power up in here. A bad fuel pump is something that I could fix. I've done that before. But I know they can fix it like three times faster. So while they're working on that, 
I'm gonna do a little road work. We're in the Bobcat now. Uh, this road is, has not been patched or anything a long time. There's one low water crossing where it's got some, it's got some giant potholes. So I'm gonna put a little bit of fill in there and then we got a bunch of asphalt patch. We're gonna try to smooth it out, make it a little bit nicer. For all the people that we've been having driving up and down this road lately, because one pothole gets huge when a bunch of traffic is on it. Just a little spritz. Try to displace some of this water with some rocky soil. So it's pretty sandy stuff, so I think this will be good for just kind of filling in the holes, and then we got patch to put over that. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. Try to knock some of this water out of these spots here. Filled in that with some dirt and rocks and that one, and then we start doing this. It's too muddy over there. I think it'd be a total waste of asphalt. So we're just gonna do this half the road that's dry today. We're gonna let that dry up. Because I think if we put asphalt on top of that, someone's gonna drive over, it's just gonna squish it all down and ruin it. So instead of wasting asphalt, we'll wait. a pass on this it just gets where it moves less and less so it's slowly packing it down but with this stuff you're supposed to just drive over it a bunch and get it all packed in there and this is you know we'll come back and do that later but this part we may end up coming back and adding you can always add more on top this is just a patch so it's not gonna last forever it's not as good as if we actually got hot asphalt out here and did it but this stuff gets freaking hard and so with the amount of traffic we have it'll last as long as we need it here it's not like this is a highway or anything so he's just gonna make a bunch more passes and then we have freaking patched a road. The place is just really coming together. Run. Today's episode is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon is co-founded by Ray J. They make innovative earbud designs at prices that don't break the bank. The saying you get what you pay for is definitely not true with these babies. With Raycon, you're paying half the price and you're getting the same, if not better, quality earbuds. Raycon is on a mission to prove that you shouldn't have to pay an arm and a leg for quality sound and essential high-tech listening features. It's a no BS product. That's what I like to hear. <laughs> Get it? It was like a joke. One of my favorite things about them is they don't budge no matter what. And they fit flush in your ear and they are sweat and water resistant. They're ideal for everyday use. The earbuds have up to eight hours of playtime for listening to audio and making calls. Plus the charging case holds up to 32 hours of battery life. They are Siri and Alexa compatible and super easy to pair with your phone in just seconds. Once paired, you can go up to 33 feet away from your phone and still have top quality sound. One thing I personally love about my Raycons is I can trust that they're gonna stay in my ears and work perfectly when I'm racing my sheep. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com com slash off the ranch to get 15% off your purchase. That's by R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash off the ranch and you get 15% off your Raycon purchase. We haven't really showed you much at all down here by the river because um, we haven't really been focusing on that very much because we're like, why clean up the river when we have so much stuff at the actual resort to clean up? Uh, but it has this really awesome pasture down here. It's got another pasture over there. We have a mile of riverfront, which is really cool. Um, and these trees down here, there's pecan trees everywhere. Like all these trees are pecan trees. So there's like tons of pecan trees down by the river. Closer to the river, you can hear Mikey's down there with a uh, weed eater right now. Closer to the river, there is a bunch of bald cypress trees. So there's huge cypress trees. Uh, but we're just trying to clear it all because it's really tall weeds and grass everywhere because no one's maintained down there in a long time. So I'm filling up the lawnmower. Uh, we're just gonna be doing a lot of mowing because uh, we actually have another YouTuber coming in uh, I think today, I think pretty soon. So I'm gonna try to make a little pad. I think he's gonna sleep down here in his truck down by the river. In a van down by the river. Van down by the river. Van down by the river. We've talked about doing RV hookups in the future or maybe just some regular camping, tent camping. Um, I don't know, we don't really know what we're gonna do down here yet, but this is the first time that someone is going to actually come in here to sleep at the river in 20 years. Also, 
Look at those things. Once we fix up those buildings that are on the bluff overlooking this beautiful green field and the river down there, it's gonna be so good. Weddings happening right here next to a river. God, this place is gonna be cool. Check this out, you can drive right in here. You can park right down here under all of these beautiful pecan trees. And then you can just stroll on down to this beautiful river, which is, it's kind of like extra muddy right now. We've been getting tons of rain, so it's flowing fairly well. Also, there's a rope swing here. It doesn't make much sense at all. So, it kind of drops down a level here, then it drops down another sharp level there. We couldn't get a lawnmower down there, but we got the, uh, the weed eater down there with a hard blade on it, just kind of chopped everything. But yeah, this rope swing, I actually got in the river for the first time ever this weekend and I, I went the whole mile stretch of river. Right here, it's like 18 inches deep right there, directly under it. I assume this was some kid that was like, you know what, I got an idea. I'm a, I can definitely throw a rope around that tree. I'm gonna copy Matt's video when he made an epic rope swing and they made this and you can jump in a foot and a half deep of water. Also, when I said no one had been down here in 20 years, that was wrong. We found signs of life. A sleeping bag and blankets and an old grill. People have been here. That's a good blanket, dude. What's on it? Spider-Man? No way! Spider-Man 3? How's it smell? Mmm, <laughs> who wants a sleeping bag? It's wet and has a hole in it. This is not all gonna fit, is it? We're gonna try to carry all this on the lawnmower. It's gonna be great. Perfect. This resort is the best investment I've ever made. I get to carry trash on my lawnmower. I get to have fun with Mikey out here just doing hard work. Yeah, that Spider-Man blanket smells real bad. I'm gonna show you what we've been doing to this storage room. So the last time, still smells good in here. The last time you saw this, uh, it was full of junk and covered in like probably three inches thick of sheep poop. Look at this now. We are trying to make this our little tool room. So you can see we got the floor cleaned up. We got all the junk out of here. And then we have this cage over here that we're gonna make our little tool shed. We got our chainsaws, we got all of our you know, shovels and rakes and stuff. All this stuff back here is still just stuff we haven't gone through, but we got all the poop out. There was just poop everywhere on, ev like poop dust was on everything too. So we're still working on it, but man, it's so much better than it was. I mean, it's an actual tool room again. This is gonna be great. Cool, a lot of stuff to figure out. We have no electricity in here either. Um, the electricity to this building is turned off and we're scared to turn it on because we're just worried it'll burn down like the last building that probably had electricity turned back on. So we just need to like kind of look through everything. There's a lot of just wires strewn about places. So slowly but surely we're making little pieces of this resort functional again. And we needed a kind of maintenance utility room. We've got a garage door that opens and closes so we can pull stuff in here, work on it, or just like I can keep my bobcat in here. My dad's tractor we put in there. We're just trying to get place for everything so that as we work out here, we work more efficiently. And so this was just one small step along the way that is gonna make working out here go way smoother, faster, and we'll get a lot more done.
our guest is here. Matt, uh, we actually hung out with him for the Mint 400 uh, in Vegas. That's yeah. Where I, that's where I met him. And then he's from Australia. Uh, his channel is called the Explore Loft. Explore Loft. Explore Loft. Yeah. And um, this is his rig. So he's actually gonna be staying here for uh, how, how long? You stay? Yes, he is. Six months. Doing I'm a in, little I'm in here. Oh, here. <laughs> Two months? He's, he's like, I'm living Two here. Two months? One month? we will be staying here for a bit. A couple days. Uh, but he is not staying in the house, which you could. It's great. You saw it in there. It's pretty nice, right? Looks good, yeah. But he's going to be staying down by the river, I think. Yeah, we heard there's a beautiful river, uh, some cabana chairs, like little gazebos. We can make that happen. Tell me everything. <laughs> um, all right, so it's just a 2500 Ram. Uh, so nothing's, nothing fancy there. We got all four inch lifted BDS kits, big BFG tires. You, I know you're a BFG fan. Yep. Uh, and then on the back is sort of something a little bit different that you guys don't have over here, tray canopy setups. So EC off-road, built the whole car for me back in Australia. We basically built the ultimate Australian Ram, put it on a boat and brought it to America. And we're at all the Overland Expo showing it off. So uh, GCI tray tech canopy. So this is Australian company? Yep. Okay. Everything on this is pretty much Australian. So we've got a little beer fridge here, Matty. Uh, that's Love designated it. for beers. <laughs> now it does look stupidly high, but it's on full air ride. So we can dump that down to the ground and make it a little bit more usable, which will make sense on the other side. So you get your beers out, you got your bar table, but- uh, I see, so all this, yeah, it's pretty high. So you can yeah. drop it all down. Yeah, we'll bag, we'll bag it down. Let's bag it down, bag the bugger down. <laughs> so this is our little kitchen setup. We got the upright fridge. Another fridge. Yeah, man. You can never have enough fridges. You don't want your beer to go cold. Coffee machine. We'll slide out. Oh, that's cool. We'll slide out pantry here, and then uh, this is the this is the full kitchen. So slide, slide. We got water. water. We got water. We got the double induction cooktop, and then we got the microwave tucked up in there. So, Dang. yeah, that's the little. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, that's just storage. Gotcha. You. Pots and pans. Pots, pans, oh, yeah, plates. Cool. All right, I'm pretty jealous of this. This is so cool. There we go. But then you also have a trailer. Yeah. So another Aussie mob. Uh, this is Patriot camper. Real simple. This flips over. You got a queen size bed, little yeah. couch inside. I forgot inside. what you talk about. You have a bed yeah. up there, I guess, too, right? You don't have to open it all. I'm just... Oh, I'll show you this one real quick. This is uh, this is Nab's bed. Oh, under that. Nice. And that's it. We're done. Climb in and. That is so cool. Go is this to bed. Uh, just an awning? Yeah. You got a shower on this thing? Uh, shower, hot water shower in the in the Patriot, and then we got a cold water shower coming off the back of the car. So you're gonna be showering outside? Yeah. So yeah. I can set up my game camera. Come down at like 7.30, <laughs> you'll get a show. I guess I'll show you to your room now. Yeah. So it's, it's just a river, but let's go. Well, we've had come down here. I brought the Bronco down here, but uh, this thing with the trailer will be interesting. I, I think it'll be fine though. It's a very capable looking rig. Can't get between the trees. Oh, he's just sliding. Oh no. Oh, oh. Yeah, you're sliding, dude. Dude, I'm glad he made that turn. That was Man. sketch. Imagine Australia, Matt comes all the way to Texas just to dump his $250,000 rig in the river. In the river. <laughs> that was scary. When he locked up going, he just, I was like, there's, it just gets steeper the closer he gets to the water. I'm glad you pulled off the brakes. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, I was like, this ain't going real well. I was like, I put it in full drive. I was like, I shouldn't need to. I'm just going to turn a corner. And then I kept pushing harder and harder. I was like, I'm not really slowing down. I think I'm getting faster. Mate, yeah. what a spot. Right? You have hooked good. me up. All this right. is absolutely unreal. We just charged like 300 bucks a night for this spot. So anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet. Have, okay. a, have a good I'll... one.
Matt, how many subscribers do you have? Uh, we're at like 150. 150, so we cruise around, traveling around Australia, full driving, boating, camping, fishing, sea doos, jet skis, horses, wakeboarding. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, I think we should try, I don't know if it's possible, but I've, no one who's ever visited me has got this mini, but what if we could get 50,000 people to go to his channel and blow them up? Well, what, what am I going to do if we get there? I'm going to give you something in return if that happens. Challenge. Challenge, yeah, what's, what's going to happen, yeah. I think you just got to fix up one of these buildings. Oh, give me this. Get, when you leave and go back to Australia, I'll take this. Yeah, we're going to need to make that 100,000. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, yeah. That's like doubling your subscribers almost. <laughs> yeah, um, and then you get a Patriot. I'll just try I'll really hard. Up. Even if you go look at his channel and you think it's total garbage, just subscribe anyway. Yeah, give us a thumbs down. <laughs> let, thumbs, let us know how you really thumbs feel. Thumbs down him, yeah. but hit the subscribe on Matt's channel. He's going to be camping here for a couple nights or a couple years. I don't know. Help a dude out. Go sub to him. Uh, we'll check back with you in a couple days and see how it's going. Yeah, happy days. Good appreciate, luck. Appreciate I hope you guys. survive. There's a, there's some river monsters. That's what I've heard. I haven't seen them yet. We're gonna hit that river. We're gonna get a little fire going. We're gonna get the chairs, kick back, a few beers, and do what we do best and just chill out. Can I stay with y'all? No. <laughs> we were supposed to be uh, working this morning. Um, you were, you were, you were, you were, Jeez. and I was. Uh, but anyway, we ended up just sitting in the creek. You guys drinking beer already? You told us. You said this is how you started Texas morning. We were just joking. <laughs> we ate all those donuts, all those, oh, all the hot dogs and beer. Kalachis. I got them. I got them donuts and uh, kalachis oh, for kalachis. breakfast this morning. And they were like, "What's a kalachi?" And they were like, "I was like, it's got a sausage in there." And he's like. This is just a hot dog. It is a hot dog. Can you let us know in the comments if uh, Shiner Beer Hot Dogs and Donuts is a real Texas breakfast? Yeah. The way you said it right now, yes. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, I trust you. <laughs> uh, we got the truck back from Holden Bros. We're going to go uh, check it out now. Uh, it had a couple other problems that we didn't foresee. Um, but but for a bit, I think we're just going to... We're just gonna do this because yeah. this is this actually is Texas life. These guys told me they never put a chair in a river before. No, well, crocodiles kind of you know put a limit on how much time <laughs> you want to spend in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Depends how many legs you want left by the end of sitting there. He did. They were like, so there's nothing in this river that can hurt us, and I was like, not really. And he's like, wow. <laughs> <You're> living <laughs> like, our best life now. Yeah, you guys yeah. moving to Texas or what? Oh yeah, so how hard is it to move into uh, Texas City? I don't know. I, was, I mean, that's California. Yeah, the state's moving. Yeah. Here. They're 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 getting here quick. Yeah, I mean, let's kick them out. I've kind of already moved in, so I'm good. Man, this is such a picturesque little thing here too. You got your awesome truck and trailer and this freaking awesome campsite here, yeah. right by this beautiful river where you can just drink beer at nine in the morning in the river. What a day! Y'all went on a run too, right? Yeah, we woke up, we did our little little workout, which we needed to drink our shiners, <laughs> swim in the river, had some donuts. <laughs> yeah, we're living the Texas dream right yeah, here. Yep. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, things are pretty peachy here at the resort. We got to get back to work soon, but soon Soonish. doesn't really mean we're anything. We're just, just going to push soon back to later in the afternoon, maybe. We got basically a brand new truck. Ugh. Basically a brand new, basically basically a brand a brand new, new truck. truck. <laughs> Alright, just notice how nice and quiet this V10 purrs. And the AC still works. So we have nice cold AC. It was pretty low and so I got Willie and Steven to charge it. All they need to do is get the fuel pump fixed. They did put a new fuel filter on. They went ahead and changed the oil. Uh, they recommended some other things, like some safety features. And I was like, nah, it's fine. So I'm, and then I gotta show you one other bad thing they found. So this right here is where the axle is hooked on to the rest of the truck. It was totally snapped, which is not good if uh, you know you want the axle to stay under the truck. So they were like, yeah, that needs to be fixed. And I was like, can you just like throw a bunch of weld on it and make it good enough? And they were like, someone already did that and it broke again. And I was like, can you just throw way more weld on it? And they were like, we got you. So they put a bunch of weld in there, welded it up really good, got it nice and hot. 
oops, hooked it in. They also put another strap up there. It's pretty good for ranch work. I would not drive this truck on the highway. I was like, I don't want to put a bunch of money into this thing. So I'm just going to put like a sticker on the speedometer at 30 miles an hour that says you're in danger. <laughs> so no one will go faster than that. We're just going to get it all cleaned up. Get all the uh, moss off the side of it. Make this thing sparkle like brand new. Look at this. Just like that, we have a basically brand new Triton V10 Ford F-250, ready for ranch work, ready to turn this place from a terrible abandoned resort into the most beautiful 13-star resort. They're going to make a new category for us. They're skipping like 10 categories. Yeah, that's because this categories. place skips all those categories that aren't there yet. I can't understand any word you ever say. <laughs> <laughs> he said there's a, a baby dia. I don't, I don't what know. What I think he's trying to say a dia? dingo baby. Oh, the dingo babies yeah. over here. A dingo! No, idea. <laughs> idea. Idea. They have an oh, idea. He, he has they, an idea. They have an idea. Yeah. Y'all have an idea? What's, What's your, your idea? idea? What's your idea? No, a baby dia. No idea. Oh, oh a baby, baby idea. idea. Like a little idea. Small? They, instead of little, they say baby in Australia. Oh, a deer. Yeah, yeah. deer. Deer. Oh. Yeah. Say it? A deer. deer. No, no, say it right. Deer. Oh, no. Deer. 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 With an R. With an R. No, R. An R. No, an R. Oh, R. Deer. Deer. Like you're a pirate. R. Like deer. Like deer. That's cute little guy. So cute. He's Maddie, in the worst Matt spot Fry, though. Matt I jumped oh, like. Oh, no, don't do it. Oh, he oh, went right through cactus. I wouldn't have done that. Look how cute he is. Poor fella. Little bugger. I nearly stood on its head and it jumped up next to me and I was I like... I thought it was a snake. I was ah! like, that and then thing I, is super cute. And then I thought it was a rabbit and I was like, what are you scared of a rabbit for? Oh, that's he cool. wasn't scared of a rabbit. He's scared of a tiny baby deer. <laughs> so this is what you do in Texas. Oh, right? it's a normal Texas thing. We all do this. We were doing this right before we all got here. Yeah, yeah. I think it's running out of gas right now. Yeah, let's make it Better up. do it quick. Did you guys sign the waiver? better than I thought. Where do you even start? Because there's just so much freaking stuff to do. And so like I've been looking at that truck for a month going like, man, we should really get that running. We finally did, which is nice. So it's like one more thing checked off the list, but it's like, there are literally a million things. So cool, we've, uh, we've done like 19 things out of 1 million. So just gonna keep chipping away. I really have no idea how long this is gonna take. It's a lot, it's a lot, but we got a lot of people who are helping, which is cool. I mean, you guys saw the last video, you guys all came out and we freaking knocked this out. Like there was just stuff everywhere. You couldn't walk around in here and we just cleared all the junk out so that now we can get a skid steer in here, scoop up all the just ash and goat poop and rocks and really clear this out. I just wanted to be able to walk around in here so we can try to visualize what to do with this. Because first, my first thought was just bulldoze. Like, yeah, it's trashed. But I was like, man, these things are cool. Like these fireplaces down here, and the chimney goes into an upstairs fireplace. And same thing over here. There's another one that has a first story and second story fireplace. 
and then there's another one that has a first story and second story fireplace and I was like these things look freaking epic even if we don't build a building around them what if this is like an outdoor place where we keep the fireplaces and we'd have to figure out a way to make it safe because it is definitely not safe right now there's just so much loose stuff like that but some of it's you know 20 feet in the air and would not be ideal to fall on your head so yeah this is number uh 30 through um 400 of the things we need to do just this one building right here there's just so much freaking stuff but you see me here we are chipping away slowly but surely we're chipping away i'm really hoping that in like man i don't know maybe a year that might be generous we can have everything cleaned up at least like it may not be done and it definitely won't be done but at least everything is clean and there aren't piles of junk everywhere that would be pretty cool so Tell me what you think. Give me your suggestions. Comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. I need all the help I can get here because this thing is going to be very expensive and very time consuming. So if you guys would just, you know, push this video if you like it. Subscribe to me if you like this kind of stuff because there's going to be a lot of it. This is probably going to... It's gonna overtake this channel. Also, go check out Explore Life. Those guys are awesome. They've been super fun to hang out the last few days. So go give them a follow. I will link them in the description below. Let's get them, you know, 20,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers. That'd be really cool for a big channel like this to push them and help them grow because those guys are gonna go far. They're doing something really cool. They're just touring the US and enjoying everything US. Our audience is primarily US based. You guys know this country is awesome, so it's cool to see people coming over here enjoying it. So go give them a follow and see your beautiful country through the eyes of some crazy Australians. I'm signing off. Thank you guys for being here. Thanks for all the kind words. You know, we just started this series. We just bought this thing last, you know, like a month ago, I think. And you guys are being really awesome and supportive and loving it, it seems like. So let's keep it up. Thanks for watching, Demolisha. I love you. I'll see you next time.